Hello everybody. Welcome to lecture 6 of our course Computing Ethics and Society. In this lecture we're going to complete chapter 2 Privacy. The topics to be covered protecting privacy in which we discuss technology and markets, rights and laws. The second topic is communications. Let's first talk about protecting privacy in terms of technologies and markets. There are a lot of technologies and business tools that introduced in market for the purpose of privacy protection. These tools use encryption in order to protect data. Protecting privacy in terms of rights and laws has been changed. In the past, there was no recognition of an independent right to privacy. After that, this changed. So, the law protects the privacy in transactions, ownership of personal data, the basic legal framework like agreement and contracts, and in regulation. There are two viewpoints of privacy under rights and laws. The first viewpoint is free market view in which freedom of consumers to make voluntary agreements, diversity of individual tastes and values, responses of the market to consumer per preferences, a usefulness of contracts and flaws of regularity solutions. Another viewpoint is the customer protection view in which uses of personal information, costly and disruptive results of errors in databases, ease with which personal information leaks out and consumers need protection from their own lack of knowledge, judgment or interest. For these two viewpoints think about the following example. When asked if someone sues you and loses, should they have to pay your legal expenses? More than 80% of people surveyed said yes. When asked the same question from the opposite perspective, if you sue someone and lose, should you have to pay their legal expenses? About 40% said yes. Now think about these discussion questions and try to answer it with your classmates or friends. How would the free market view and the consumer protection view differ on errors in credit bureau databases? Second question, who is the consumer in this situation? Now let's compare between the US regulations and European Union regulations about privacy. European rules are more strict than US regulations. In the European rules, they prohibit transfer of personal information to countries outside the European Union that do not have an adequate system of privacy protection. Many privacy advocates describe the U.S. privacy policy as behind Europe because the U.S. does not have comprehensive federal legislation regulating personal data collection and use. Now let's move to the next topic which is communications or privacy in the communication. For the privacy in telephones Interception was prohibited. After that, by law, surveillance became allowed. Then, this law extended to include email and other new communication ways. After that, the communication assistance for law enforcement requires the telecommunications equipment be designed to ensure that the government can intercept the telephone calls. Then, Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act established oversight rules 
for the National Security Agency, which is Secret Access to Communications Records. So, this is the end of our lecture, and see you in the next lecture. Goodbye.